Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lucas Dentis here, and today we're going to explore Go High Level WordPress hosting. I know in the Go High Level community, a lot of people are talking about this. A lot of people have shared screenshots of how fast their websites are loading now after they have migrated. So here, we're going to do a test. I'm going to migrate a website to Go High Level WordPress hosting. I'm going to show you how you can migrate your, your own website to Go High Level WordPress hosting. And uh, we're going to do the test comparison to see if it really loads fast faster after we change hosting. So here in my screen, I just got the confirmation from Cloudflare that my website is active. If you don't know Cloudflare, I would absolutely recommend you to use it. It's a CDN and you can have this account for free. This will basically make your website load faster as if you don't know how websites requests work. So every time a website needs to load, your computer needs to make, needs to make a request on the for the closest server. If you don't use a CDN, that means that you only have one server that this computer can can make the request so if someone is in a different country the closest server from this person will be far away and the website will load slower but with a CDN you're able to replicate servers in a lot of locations which ultimately means that someone from another country will be able to load your website fast as they would in your home country so with no further ado let's jump into this the first thing we have to do here we're going to add a sub account to go high level i'm going to do this from the start to finish so first we're going to do is to create a go high level account okay here we go we're going to click on sub accounts and we're going to create a sub account and here since we're not going to add a funnel or anything like that we can just do a blank snapshot. I'm gonna look for them here. Let's see if I can find their profile. Nope, I'll just add the account manually. Okay, I need to gather, I need to grab the information from my client. Here I'm adding information about the client, name of the company, I also need to grab the ad. So now I have added information about the company. So now we're going to decide how we're going to build the client for hosting. On Go High Level, if you have the agency plan, you can build clients directly from their SaaS account. So you can choose how much you profit from each hosting client you have here on Go High Level. In here, in this case, our price would, could be $25.99, it could be $39.99, and it shows you how much you're paying for Go High Level and how much is your profit. In this case, with this client, we are making this a part of their plan, so we're going to deploy WordPress directly. So we're going to click on Pay Now, and now we have deployed WordPress on this account. So now we can click on Switch Subaccount, and now we can go to Sites, and WordPress will be right here. So now we can create a WordPress website. This, don't worry about this too much. Make sure you save this password because it, it, it will be helpful later. So let's generate a password. I'm just gonna copy this, create a WordPress website. I'm gonna paste this into a notepad. And now it's this is going to take a while. It's going to set up the whole environment. I said it was gonna take a while. All right, it's done. Here we have it set it up. And now we have to do something because we have this WordPress server stored on generic URL. You see, it's a domain, it's like very random, but we have to add a domain here. So what I'm going to do first here is to click on add domain and we're going to add that domain I told you about. Click on add domain. So now the next step is to add the A record and the C name. So now let's add this. We're gonna go here, DNS, add record, Dave. There we go. Now I'm gonna go back here. It doesn't can't see anything here. So let's do let's verify. Okay. So now the domain is added. It could take some time until you're able to access. And if you just would like to add the domain, migrate this website without having to wait for the domain, you can make this the primary domain again. And now you can access the WordPress from here. So now what we have to do is to upload your WordPress file to here so we can host your website on the server. So what we have to do is to go to where your website is. You need to log into WordPress. So here we are on WordPress. We need to download and install an app called WP All-in-One Migration. It's a very good plugin. Allows you to replicate websites easily, clone websites, migrate websites as well. And I know that some of you have big websites, larger websites that have more than 512 megabytes. I would definitely recommend getting the unlimited extension. So so you can move and play around with websites larger than 512 megabytes. So here we are activating now. And now we can use the, the all-in-one WP migration to export the file. Now we have to wait a little. So now the download has been
getting generated. We can click on it, won't take long. In here, we're going to log in. Okay, so this is the environment we have just created on Go High Level. You see the URL right here. And we're going to do the same thing here, but we're going to add the unlimited extension. If your website is smaller than 512 megabytes, you don't need to use the extension. This is only for websites that are larger than 512 megabytes. Okay, guys, so now it's activated. The next step is to drop the file right here. So now after the file has been uploaded, we just click on request migration. Oops, okay, we had a problem. So what I'll do instead of trying to, to do the migration from here, apparently it didn't like the website being large. So let's do the regular way to do the conventional way and install the regular all-in-one WP migration. And then we do this one more time. I bet you were not expecting this, right guys? Usually on the tutorials, everything works. So here we are doing from here. I have to update my plugin? What the hell? Okay, let's update the plugin. You guys are killing me. Okay, let's, this should work now. All right, let's see. 98%, 99. Now we click on proceed. And now we finish. So there's one thing you need to keep in mind when you use WP all in one migration. You will copy all the users you had in the previous setup. All the users, all the passwords, the way it is, exactly the way it was, okay? But that's not a problem because on the WordPress hosting on Go High Level, you are able to see the users in reset their passwords, delete users and manage users. And straight from Go High Level, you can control the users clicking here he already loaded the list of users so i have mine here and now i'm going to so i see my username i'm going to reset my password i'm going to copy this update and now i can log in using my email address and the password there we go i'm in so now we need to do one thing we need to test the speed of this website the i know everyone was waiting for this Let's do it now. So here we are with the DNS already propagated. We have the domain connected with Go High Level. The primary domain is here. There's one thing I would like to show you on the settings. While I was doing the settings, you saw that this was not showing up, but this will eventually show for you. And you have to put both of these in your DNS settings. And if you're using Cloudflare, there's one thing you need to keep in mind to leave the DNS only, the proxy status disabled, which will show DNS only, you see proxy DNS only. So these are the things that you need to keep in mind while you do this. A lot of times we learn from our mistakes. So I hope you learn from mine as well. So here we have the website loaded to so have Maple City partnerships. And we also have the older website, which is in a dummy domain, a cheap domain we have purchased just to do this development. So now we're going to compare both of these and let's see which one loads faster. So the first task we're going to run is on page insights. So this is the old website. This is the old server we are using. So here are the results. 19 got in performance, 88 in accessibility, 95 in best practices, 89 on SEO. Now we're going to test our new URL where the website is hosted and we're going to compare. So now this test has been done. Didn't change much, 22. That's probably something wrong with the development. But anyway, I just wanted you to see how things work on the Go High Level WordPress hosting. I will run other checks, GT metrics, I would run that, but we have some internal problems to take care. Go High Level is not going to make any miracles. It's not going to do any miracles. So we need to keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, this is the video. I wanted to show how you can migrate your website to Go High Level WordPress hosting, how you, I even created a sub account in front of you so you can see how that works, but that's it delivered. You know how to migrate your website, even if it's larger than 512 megabytes, you know how to migrate to WordPress. You know how to migrate to Go High Level WordPress hosting now. So thank you so much for watching until now. If you're not a subscriber yet, subscribe to this channel if you like this content and don't forget to leave a like and also enable the notifications for the next video. See you in the next one.